Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. So, last episode I explored a good chunk of the interior of the Aurora and now I'm kind of just finishing it up and making sure I didn't miss anything inside. I think it is kind of limited in terms of its interior so I don't think there's much more we can find. Yeah, because we can't go anywhere over here really. Yeah, that's all blocked off. Oh, and now we're burning to death. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, and I explored over here, but it doesn't seem like there's anywhere we can really go. Yeah, I mean, I can jump up here, which doesn't do much. Yeah. It seems like this is about it for the amount of this area you can explore. don't see anything else that's really... <laughs> There's a floating thing over there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, other than that, there doesn't appear to be anything else up here that we can actually get to, so... Geronimo, I guess. <laughs> Look at that little guy there. He's waiting for us. <laughs> I don't know if I went over there, though. Well, I'm not even sure if we're able to go over there. Might as well find out. We can. There's just a bunch of these little buggers. Ow. <laughs> Exploration not advised. Okay, so yeah, this is an area I missed. I just, like, didn't go over here at all. It's kind of weird. Oh, no, I don't have a health pack. I just got really... Oh, yeah, that fire just killed me. Is what happened. I really just want to avoid those buggers. Now, a trace human remains detected in nearby organisms. I can't digest this. Oh. Ow. Whoa. He just threw me in the air. So, yeah. I guess that is what happened. The nearby critters just ate all the people, pretty much. Alright, I think this is it, though, now. Oh wait, no, there's a little area over here. Okay. Is this the area I was at before, though? Yeah, this is the area I was before. Okay, so yeah, it does look like that area down there and this area over here is connected. In fact, I just didn't see that little land bridge. Well, it's not really a land bridge. It's a metal bridge. <laughs> I think that's about it though. Now, yeah. Yeah, now I think I have explored pretty much everything. Yeah, because these were the only two areas that looked like they were actual, like, surfaces you could walk on, so. I think that's just gonna keep flowing there for eternity. So, yeah, I think that's about. I think that about sums up all my exploration of this area. I have salt. I do have salt. Alright, I think I'm going to try to craft a health pack because, yeah, I'm kind of dying. So what do I need again? Salt? I think it's just salt and coral, yeah. I just need salt and coral. Oh, yeah, and there's already coral on my ship over there. So yeah, I'm going to head back to our original ship, and I think that's what this is for. Recycles heat bottom to increase engine efficiency. Oh. Actually, I think it must be for your... Yeah, it must actually be for ships, I think. Yeah, because that thing doesn't have an engine. So yeah, that must be specifically for... Okay, and yeah, this just tells you coordinates. So land mass... Oh, land mass? Oh, that's interesting. Large organic mass. So that's probably something massive that will eat us. That's also probably something massive that will eat us. And that's probably just land. <laughs> That probably has a bunch of those critters over there that'll probably jump on our faces. Those face hugger things. Oh, yeah, I should probably go ahead and use this thing. Probably a lot quicker. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, and there we go. I guess I don't need a first aid kit after all. I still 
Eh, maybe not though. Yeah, actually, I should really stay. Oh, never mind. I was about to say I should stick to the bottom. But I should stick to the bottom when I'm about to die. But yeah, I should try to stick to the bottom just so I can get all these little goodies that are in these crates. There's some water. There we go. All kinds of goodies. Yeah. Ooh, look at all these mushrooms. That's interesting. Oh, lag. There we go. I think we're out of batteries now. No, we still have two. Oh no, those are power cells though. Yeah, we're out of we're out of batteries, but we have these two power cells, which don't really help us that much. I think the power cells are really only useful for submarines. Yeah, I think I should try to hug the ship a bit more and not go out into the deep. And if I hug the ship, I'll at least find some supply crates, I presume. God, those guys are not annoying. Another signal. Warning, 30 seconds of okay, those are just remaining. the sand sharks. Oh, that's just a battery. Sweet. Yeah, there are a lot of crates that surround this ship. Is that another battery? Sweet. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. It's kind of weird how you don't find any rations. I suppose food isn't the biggest concern in the game, though, so that's probably why they didn't bother putting rations in. Water's, I think, more of a concern than food is. There's a peeper. If we can go inside this little chunk, oh, we can see inside. Oh, there's a crate. Oh, yeah, there's an entrance over here. Yeah, let's see what's in this crate. Another power cell. What? Ah! Yeah, these boxes seem to be pretty glitchy. I'm still gonna hug the ship. I keep like forgetting to do that. Just because. Ooh. Yeah, there appears to be a bunch of coral tubes over there. So, yeah, now that we've explored that ship, I think as much as we really can. I think I'm gonna start exploring the deep blue sea. Especially considering I I have this little sea glider now, and that's going to make exploration so much easier. <clears throat> and actually, let me see. Does it say? Oh, it doesn't say on here. Yeah, I remember I did look it up, though, and I believe... I think this thing can move like 9 meters per second, and apparently the submarine only goes like 7 meters per second, so... This one is definitely faster. So, honestly, I think this is a more f efficient means of travel than the submarine could ever be. Unless, of course, if we can put a, uh, what are they called, um, those fabricators on a submarine. If you can put a fabricator on a submarine, then that'll, that'll make life really easy, because then you don't have to worry about constantly having food and water. At least not as much. Yeah, one thing I really need to look into, I keep forgetting to do this, I need to look into how to make weapons in this game, because I know I have that knife and all, but I'm thinking there's also a... We don't even need to get here. Yeah, because we don't even have room for carrying anything if I wanted to do that. So I might as well head back to our main base. Oh yeah, and 
I did sort of watch a bit of my last video, and I, or no, I don't think it was the last video, I think it might have been two videos ago, but anyways, I was stupid and I, I thought that for some reason this thing was based, like the energy usage of the sea glider was based upon how much you moved, and that actually might be the case, but I didn't realize until I think last episode that it has, it has a light, so I just had the light on, so that's the thing that was draining its power when I was walking around, it wasn't just being on, or it wasn't just me equipping it, it was the fact that the flashlight on it was on, I'm pretty sure. Alright. Sweet. I've got all kinds of goodies. And I think this will just be like a miscellaneous thing. cells I don't need exactly. There we go, quite a bit of salt. Quite a bit of quartz too. And let me see, what do you need to make enameled glass? No, it's not there. It must be here then, right? And we need stalker teeth and then just one thing of glass. All I need is quartz and a stalker tooth. And let me see then. How much do I need? Oops. Yeah, I don't really need the welder anymore, I don't think. Because once you repair your ship, I mean, you can use it to repair the your hull when you're... Like, if you're stupid and you make this place structurally unstable, then it'll start getting damaged, and then you need to use your welder, but otherwise, I don't really think you need the welder for anything. Maybe you can use it to repair your ship, actually. That's a possibility. Oh, yeah, and I think that thing is specifically for... What is it? Let me see. This thing is specifically for, I think, uh, what are they called? Submarines. So yeah, I think... Actually, the one thing I do want is two more lockers, just so I can make a bit more specialized. I'm going to make that five. And I want yeah, two more lockers. Where are they? Yeah, it's in appliances. Yep. What are the differences between these? Oh, these are just mounted on the wall. Oops, I always forget like the buttons for these things when it's not that difficult. Yeah, I need glass and titanium. Glass. As well as a good old. Oh, yeah, it's in here. Titanium. I'll place two of these buckers now. Eh, close enough for me. And a locker right here as well. Those are a bit closer, but whatever. All right, there we go. And now I think, what do I need to make a window? I, need, I just need even more glass. I want to put like two windows, I think, here and here. So, yeah, actually wait, I'm gonna do the one thing I want to do. I want to make a locker specifically for organic things. Actually, if you think about it, I could probably, hmm, I could probably, if I wanted, just put, like, you know, a bunch of fish in here, just for the long run. Because they don't seem to decay when they're not, when they're still alive. That might be a good idea, actually. Oh, yeah, and on top of that, I no longer am going to need a radiation suit, because if you think about it, I removed the one source of radiation. Oh, I see. That's why that thing was on our map. I'll put all these away for now. Let me just look at them. Landmass. I do want to keep the landmass one actually, because that's the one thing I think is the most would be the most interesting to explore. Considering if you think about it, we've kind of had our fair share of underwater stuff, I'd say. All right. So yeah, this will be this will be all 
minerals and stuff. This is going to be, I think, just man-made things. Yeah, man-made items. Although I do want to have an, a, a difference between, yeah, I want like this to be more equipment, so I don't think I want bleach. I suppose, yeah, I, bet, I guess pretty much all this is for equipment. Actually, I shouldn't really just have bleach sitting around, because it's not the hardest thing to make. So yeah, I'll take the bleach. And this will just be all organic. And then what else? Actually, you know what, I think, yeah, I'll make this one just miscellaneous things that you can equip. Or no, that's kind of what I made this one for. Or, no, 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 this one. There. Yeah, I might as well unequip this too, because all it does is protect us from radiation. It doesn't actually... I don't think it protects us from damage at all. Alright. Yeah, so in that case... Let me take a look at equipment. Yeah, we can make a... We can make that, but we need to kill a bunch of stuff. We can make a radiation suit. We are, we have a radiation suit. We can make a still suit. Ah, oh, yeah, I should make a still suit. I need silver ore and silk and rubber, so I need four quartz and two silver. Was it? How much was it again? Was it four? Or was it two? Okay, yeah. I just need four quartz. How many batteries do I have? Two batteries. Okay, I don't need to worry too much about collecting acid mushrooms or anything then. I, yeah, I'm just gonna go mining a bit because I want some, or not mining, quartz, but I could mine as well. Mining's always a nice thing to do. Yeah, I do need some more titanium if I want to expand our base, so. Yeah, I'll just carry. I'll get a couple pieces of salvage. Yeah, there's salvage everywhere, so. I don't really need to worry about that too much. And it's. Like I said, I really should have focused on getting this thing functional because it just makes collecting of stuff so much easier. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. Actually, I kind of had like, I was contemplating like deleting my entire Let's Play and just doing a new one where I'm not an idiot, but whatever. I guess it'll just serve as a warning that if I decide to play a game like this, like Let's Play it, I should try to at least do a bit more of a trial run so I actually know what I'm doing. Because, yeah, if I had the knowledge I have about the game now, I can almost guarantee... We've probably gotten as much... I think this is the 12th part or something like that. It might be the 13th part. But I think I probably would have gotten this much progress done in, like, 7 parts if I would have actually, you know, had the knowledge Warning. I have now. But, hey. Remaining. Personally, I do enjoy watching blind Let's Players a lot just because... Not literally blind, but blind is in their first time playing. I, I like that quite a bit just because... I don't know. It may it, it to me it feels like you're kind of experiencing the game at the same time. Though I will admit that oh these fuckers. I want to be away from them. Well, the landmass is pretty close by actually. Oh, I've not found much quartz either. A lot of salvage, but no quartz in particular. Yeah, I do want some more silver though, just so that I'm stocked up. Yeah, because once I use up all the silver for the Still suit, I'll be out. Yeah, this thing makes exploring caves so much more efficient and just less makes you less worry about dying constantly. Huh. I haven't found much quartz, surprisingly. I do wonder if stuff like quartz respawns, because it seems like if you, it doesn't respawn, then it, it would be quite easy to just kind of run out of it entirely, almost. Get some more titanium. How much room do I have? Not much. Oh, I need fish. Yeah, once I get some more quartz, I'm going to go looking for fish. And I only have one piece of quartz. I need four. At least. Oh, there's a bunch. By bunch, I mean two. But hey, two is better than nothing. Oh. Yeah, 
I almost feel like the wide open areas are almost better for exploring simply because they're they're just typically easier to find where things are. But yeah, there there really never was any quartz on the bottom of this though, so that doesn't help me much. Warning. Seconds you know, I could have sort of just killed two stones, or two stones, two birds with one stone, and headed towards the landmass while I was looking for quartz. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, it's quite far away, though. I don't really want to risk it. Yeah, because I think, I think we'll starve by the time I got there. I don't know why it says 10 seconds, because that really doesn't feel like 10 seconds. It feels a little bit faster than that. I guess maybe it includes the amount of oxygen you have when you're blacking out, but somehow I doubt that actually. Fortunately, you can still move when you're checking your inventory out, so that's nice. Oh, not as fast though, admittedly. Where the heck is one more piece of quartz? Yeah, that's all I need is one more piece, and then I can make a still suit. Do I? I th oh, I, don't, I don't remember. I don't, I'm not sure if I have any in my. Oh, terraformer! Oh, I want that. I need to look up how to make a gun for one. I think you get a gun by finding these fragments. Actually, I need to figure out how I pick these damn fragments up. I think it's probably through the submarine, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I. Might. Maybe this is how you do it. If that is, that's kind of sad. Oh, fudge cakes. I was being stupid. I should have known. Oh, yeah, this is another one of those things. It would have been a good idea to look these up. I just had a bit of intuition there, and I figured maybe the scanner will tell me more. And it did exactly what I thought it would do. Or I shouldn't say thought. It did exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't do. <laughs> Alright, so that's how you find out new blueprints for obscure items, it seems, is you have to find fragments and then scan them. Oh, I wish I would have known that, because I would have had dozens of more fragments if I would have done that. Oh. oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I would have had at least a couple dozen fragments by now. Eh, whatever on a modification station. So I'm guessing this is what you need to build in order to have something that can modify your submarines, most likely. Oh, man, I wish I know. I wish I would have been smart enough to figure that out ahead of time. I wonder if the game... I hope the game didn't give me a heads-up display about it, too. That would have made me very sad. I don't care too much though because if you think about it now that I'm actually using this thing it'll at least make gathering those fragments a lot easier as well. I guess I'll find out now whether or not I've got any quartz in my one locker. Oh, come on. Don't you want to get eaten? Oh, excuse me. There's a good amount of that. Yeah, silicon rubber's what I need. Do I? No, I do not have any quartz in here. Oh, no, I've got plenty of titanium. For now. Oops. I might as well put the gold in there too. So yeah, I need two gold or two silver and two silicon. Correct. Yes. Oh, food, 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 food. That's the biggest priority. Emergency. Did I put that one fish in here? I did. Another one. That'll help 
looks odd. so weird. I don't like them one bit. It seems like their boulder must have like gotten destroyed somehow. Alright, quartz. Just need a little bit more. Yeah, once I get the still suit done, I'm gonna end this episode, I think. Oh, I wanna get in there, but those things are scary. Oh, I can sneak right past them. Oh, there's nothing even in here that's worthwhile. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, that, that was literally just a shortcut to the other side more than anything. Nothing of value was found. So I do, do need some more food. I might as well gather that while I'm looking for some more quartz. Yeah, there definitely must be certain, like, biomes that have certain materials a lot more, because whatever biome... You fucker. Whatever biome my base is in, what the hell... Oh, and apparently I looked it up, and these guys are actually passive. Apparently these are the largest passive enemies, or not enemies then, largest passive creatures in the game. Might as well scan them. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Takes a while. What the hell? <laughs> so weird looking. They, actually, they almost look, oh, what would you say, they, they look almost like Lovecraftian, Emergency. like creatures, you know what I mean? So I think that's one of the things that off put me from them so much, is that they don't look like something that'd be friendly. It looks like something that would try to make you go insane and then become a weird fisherman that kills people and prays to it. Yeah, I guess. That's what it looks like to me, at least. some more of the quartzes. <sighs> I'm gonna try to gather plenty of it, at least as much as I can find. Oh, what are those things? Actually, can I scan that? No, I can't. Oh wait, I saw something. No, it's digging. Okay, yeah, they're not a thing, I guess. I'm just gonna gather a bunch of these so I have enough for batteries because I, I have plenty of copper I think the thing I'm short on is those acid mushrooms not that they're the hardest to find but still mercury that's the first time I found that oh this area is just full of this stuff and this must be like a biome that just for whatever reason has a bunch of quartz Warning, thermal plant. Oh, I guess that already exists, actually. I remember saying that there might be a thermal plant for making those. Those one geysers, but they already exist. I just didn't have them scanned, man. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to need to go back to the ship and look at all the... Because there did seem to be a good number of fragments nearby. You know what I should do, to be perfectly honest? These are easy enough to find. Then I'm, I'm gonna stock up on quartz instead, because quartz is not exactly hard to find, but it appears to not there appears to not be that much nearby my actual base. Huh. I wish I had yeah. I wish I had one of those um markers to put down over here, because this is a place I definitely want to go to again, because there's plenty of quartz. Well, I always talk about trying to remember directions. And I know my base is to the... If, if the ship is north... And my base is to the west of that, which is supposed to be south of that. And that means that this is, I guess, the south east? Yeah. yeah my base is east. Because yeah, I don't think there's a compass, but I might as well figure... I might as well make up a compass to help me navigate a bit. So I guess I want to go to the southeast if I ever need quartz. God, it's so dark. 
Yeah, even turning this on doesn't really help. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's quite close by, too, so I shouldn't really have to worry about getting to it. Alright. Yeah, gonna make some more silicon rubber. Oh, yeah, it seems like the UI, for some reason, the first time I try crafting something, sometimes it, like, cuts it off. But then if I do craft something, it's fine. Weird. And now I want a still suit. Sweet. So I'm assuming this will just make that drop less quickly, I would assume. Perhaps. Maybe. Yeah, now we have a, sh a sheet ton. Yeah, I'm going to put this in here just because if I try to put all this in my metals cabinet, I think I would run out of room very quickly. Alright, this will be like, yeah, this is the fauna. And, I guess, flora and fauna. Oh yeah, I got one of those boomerangs, too. Might as well cook him up. There we go. Alright. I'm going to end the episode here, I think, so thank you all for watching, and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.